to quadratic functions in factored form. If one of the factors x plus r1 is equal with m of quadratic function in factored form, f of x is equal with a times x plus r1 times x plus r2, then the other factor x plus r2 is equal with minus m. But first of all, let, uh, let prove it. Okay, let me take a pen and let prove it. Prove. Let r1, so the roots r1 and r2 are element of the integers. And let uh, m and, uh, and x are element of the rational numbers, q. And now let, let continue a little bit. Let continue. Uh, so let me rewrite here the quadratic function in the factored form. f of x is equal with a, with a a times x plus r1 x plus r2. Okay, so now we want to find the, the roots. So the roots here, uh, the one root, let's say x1 is going to be equal to the minus r1. And the other root, x2, is going to be equal with minus r2. And axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, R is the formula that I can use the midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 is divided by 2. In other words, so x is going to be equal, but because x1 is a minus r1, so I will write here minus r1, and x2 is a minus r2, minus r2, everything here is divided by 2. And now, instead of the x here, in the main formula, I am going to substitute with the minus r1, minus r2, divided by 2. So let me write here. So f of x is going to be a, time instead of the x, I'm plugging here minus r1, minus r2, everything here divided by 2, is a plus r1. And the other is going to be x, instead of the x, I'm plugging minus r1, minus r2, everything here divided by 2, plus r2. Okay, so now, if I'm rearranging a little bit the the factors inside the parentheses, then those are going to take this form. Minus r1, minus r2, okay, everything is divided by 2, and this is a 2 times r1 divided by 2, but when I'm adding, it's going to be plus 2 times r1. And same thing is going to be the second factor, is going to be minus r1, minus r2, divided everything by 2, and as I said before, this r2, r2, I can write as a 2, r2, and like fraction, because I have, I can write here as a plus 2, r2. And now I can, uh, I can simplify a little bit more, and f of x is going to be equal to the a time, minus r1 plus 2, r1 is going to be r1, minus r2, everything here divided by 2. And the other factor is uh, minus r1, I will write here, and r2s I'm going to combine, minus r1 divided by 2, and 2r2 two two, minus r2 is a plus r2. And here we are. And now f of x is going to be equal. So here is a a. So let me rewrite this one. R1 minus R2. Everything here divided by 2. And now here I'm going to factorize one minus sign. If I am factorizing one minus sign, then this is going to get to this form. It's going to be R1 minus R2. Everything here divided by 2. Okay. And now let's substitute. Let's substitute now. We are going to substitute when uh, m is going to be equal with uh, r1 minus r2 divided by 2. Okay. And 
the other thing here is a letter R1 and R2 are different one from another. So R1 are not the same with the R2. And already we know this is going to be the rational number. But even if it's integer, integer is the field of rational number, so it doesn't uh, make any difference. So now, finally, we have f of x is going to be equal. So instead of the r1 minus r2, I am divided by 2, I am writing equal to the m. And here is a minus. And instead of r1 minus r2, I am going to write equal to m. So we already proved. We proved, uh, we proved this, uh, this theorem. So here is the end of the proof.